investors, yan, okay? Then, yung blue part, ayan po yung uh, it represent the company or the basis of growth. Ayan. So, makapapansin nyo po, naka-attach po yung green dun sa blue. No? So, yung mga, ano po, yung mga members na, ayan, nabitaw dun sa kulay blue. Eh, walang growth yan, no? Okay. At yung nakalagay po na R na yun, ayan, technical. Balik natin, balik natin. Cited ka technically. Ayan, yung R na yan, no? Ibig sabihin din po yan. Ay, ibig sabihin po niyan, yung logo po natin ay nakaregister po sa International Property Office. So, wala pong ibang pwedeng gumamit niyan kundi DXN at yung mga DXN distributor na nagpaalam, of course, sa company. Okay? Next. Ayan. DXN is from the word DAXN, which stands for Integrity, Trustworthiness, and Cheerfulness. So, kung ikaw po ay DXN or DAXN, dapat ikaw ay mapagkakatiwalaan at Higit sa lahat, eh, masiyahin. Dahil bawal po dito sa DXC na nakasimangot. No? Dahil madali, madali po kayong tatandaan yan, mga partner. Okay. Next. Eh, ito po yung ating founder. No? Yung ating uh, Chief Executive Officer, CEO, Dato, Dr. Lim Xiaojin. Sino ba yung ating founder na yan? No? Yung ating pong founder, yan, ay recently na-award po siya from Dato na-award po siya as Datok. At yung Datok po, eh, ilan lang po yung na-award niyan sa Malaysia. No? So, napaka-ganda, napaka-prestige po ng, uh, ano na yan, ng pagkilala na po yan sa ating CEO. At gabi, yung naayambag po niya sa Malaysia, kaya po siya na-award ng ganyan. Okay? Next. Ayan, yung ating pong founder, si Datok Dr. Lim Xiaojin, is a graduate from Fame Indian Institute of Technology. So, hindi po basta-basta yung ating founder. Of course, no, makapagtayo ba siya ng isang napakalaking kumpanya? At tulad ng DXN Kung, eh, basta-basta lang, di ba? Datok Dr. Lim has a deep interest in mushroom and their relationship with human health. So, talagang pinag-aralan po niya yung mga mushrooms, kung ano pa yung benefit na nagagawa niya sa katawan. Kaya po, nag-come up siya sa company na DXN. So, Ayan po, yung nagkaroon po siya ng interest lalong-lalo na ron sa Lingxi or yung Ganoderma. So, grabe, pinag-aralan talaga ng ating founder kung ano ba itong Ganoderma para saan ba ito? At ano ba yung maitutulong nito sa mga tao? And of course, Datok Dr. Lim Xiaojin did not stop there. He felt that he should form a company. So, syempre, nalaman niya na maganda yung mushroom, ito yung benefit, eh... Hindi naman po madamot yung ating founder na hindi po i-share sa mga tao yung kanyang natuklasan. At para ma-share po niya sa mas maraming tao, ay nagtayo po siya ng company, which is eto na nga. Noong 1993, tinayo po ni Datok Dr. Lim Xiaojin sa Keda, Malaysia, ang DXN International Private LTD. Okay, so mga partners, dahil po tapos na po ang aking uh, pag-present sa inyo ng logo at ng ating founder, eh, ipapakilala ko na po sa inyo yung ating speaker talaga for today. And yung ating pong speaker for today, eh, siya po, wala naman, no? siya lang naman po eh, isa sa mga kilalang next gen dito sa DXN. No? Uh, his father is already uh, executive senior crown diamond. So may posisyon na talaga yung kanyang father dito sa DXN. At kilalang kilala nyo to dahil madalas po itong makita dito sa ating live stream. As our president host. Madalas po siya mag-host sa mga international guests po natin. And of course, dun sa ating uh, previously, yung ating Korean live sharing, yeah, madalas po siya mag-host dyan. And sa ating mga anniversary, no, isa rin po siya sa madalas na mag-host ng ating anniversary. And hindi lang yan, dahil isa rin po siyang service center directress sa Pateros. Okay? So hindi ko na po patatagalin ng lahat. Dahil handang-handa na po yung ating speaker ngayon. At sigurado, no? Sigurado pagpasok po nung ating speaker, no? Eh, isa lang masasabi nyo. Kapag tumibok ang puso. Okay? <laughs> Tawagin na po natin ang ating speaker for the day. Na another gun. Si Star Diamond. And active member po ng Speakers Bureau. Isa rin po sa mga regular na nasa active diamonds list. Na another gun. Miss Aileen, dumlaw! Puso, puso, puso! Daram, daram! Hey, yeah. 
Thank you so much, Ana. Ikaw talaga lagi mo ko niloloko, ha? Donna Cruz ba ang dating? Sorry na, ma'am. <laughs> okay. So, Len, Thank ako po itatabi mo na. Thank you for that Ha? Yes. Ako po itatabi mo na at babalik na lang ako mamaya sa mga updates. So, ikaw okay. po'y maiwan mo na rito. Okay? So, Sige. ako finish ko na, ho? Yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Alad. So before ako mag-start, syempre feeling ko, ano eh, no, parang ako pa rin po ang host. Gusto ko lang batiin, syempre, ang aking uh, mga magulang, mommy, daddy ko, Eric and Tess Dumlao, ang aking tita, si Zenny Manguiduyos uh, dyan sa Hawaii. Of course, si Tita Lina Santo Tomas is also watching, si Vic ng Patera Service Center. Happy birthday muna kay Tito Devin si Hiyon. Good morning, Tito. Happy, happy birthday sa'yo. Uh, nakita ko lang dito kayo na sa live stream, live stream natin, si Tito June Shapno, Mr. Fred Valdez, si Tabibs Acosta, Tita Tata, and Aini, uh, ang mga Screaming Eagles ng Pateros, uh, si Lates Burio, and of course, uh, our pagbate sa ating Father of the XM Philippines, Tito Jim uh, Kiding. At sa lahat po sa inyo nakasama namin ngayon from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, Magandang-magandang umaga sa inyo. Team Empower, hello, good morning sa inyo. Okay, bago ako magsimula, I just like to remind you, no, yung um, ginawa ko pong parang uh, activity last Wednesday na lahat ng nag-comment about inspiration, I hope you are present today. Nakapili ako ng apat na no winners. Uh, tatlong uh, parang minor and then there's one na medyo mas maganda yung I, I found na pinakamaganda na quote or yung kanyang ibig sabihin na inspiration and we'll announce it later bago matapos ang um, health and product in focus. So make sure that you're here. Uh, bago, ako, bago namin i-announce, titignan ko kung nandito ka. Kung wala ka, hindi na kita tatawagin para hindi sasama ang iyong loob. So I saw already two na nandito, they're already present. So I'm waiting for the two others to be here. Okay, so ang um, health and product yung focus natin today is just about coffee. Napakadali, sabi nga nila, don't complicate, it's just coffee. So we'll just stress out yung mga highlights or i-highlight natin yung mga magagandang bagay tukol sa ating mga kape para mas maintindihan ng mas marami. At the same time, a little background or a little history kung saan ba nanggaling ang coffee. So, technical, pwede po bang mag-request? Can we go back dun sa logo? Gusto ko lang mag-stress ng konti or mag-reinforce dun sa explanation ni Alan kanina dun sa ating logo. Can we go back dun sa logo, Sir Joe? Ayan, so habang yeah, in-open ni Joseph, ayan. Oh, I saw attorney Tokhaya watching. Attorney, good morning. <laughs> Miss Josh, hello, how are you? Good morning sa'yo. All right, so this is our logo. The logo in itself has its own story, no? Kagaya na sabi ni Mr. Alan Kadina, the red represents the rising sun or the positive side of the day. Yun yung gustong attitude ni Dr. Lim sa atin. Now, we would always be uh, looking at the positive side of things or yung magagandang bagay na nangyayari sa atin. And one part of Dr. Lim's vision no, na isinishare niya sa atin mula nung umpisa is his desire na ang, ang DXN ay magkakaroon sa lahat ng bansa na sinisikatan ng araw. That's why the logo, the, the red uh, na nag-represent ng rising sun is very important in our logo kasi look, at where we are right now, we are in 180 countries worldwide. So sa lahat ng bansa na sumisikat ang araw, meron na ang DXN. The blue represents water as um, the basis of growth. Ito po yung powerhouse. No? Dito tayo kumukuha ng lahat na kailangan natin, produkto, training, support. Lahat yan ang kumpanya ang magbibigay for us to be able to be successful in this business that we chose na gawin para maging successful din yung ating buhay. The green represents um, vitality and growth. No? Yan po, uh, kung titignan nyo, ang ginamit na... Uh, visual ni Dr. Lim Jan is yung mushroom, yung pagtubo ng mushroom, specifically the antlers deer, uh, the deer's antlers mushroom, no? So, isa lang, nagsimula sa isa hanggang sa nagsanga-sanga nagsanga siya. So, it symbolizes the strong commitment for growth and 
uh, the striving, yung pag yung pagpursige para ma-achieve natin ang excellence. Kagaya na sinabi ni Sir Alan kanina, it could also represent the network, no? Isa lang ang dumikit muna sa kumpanya, nag, nag, nagkaroon ng isang sa kabila, nagkaroon ng isa sa kabila, hanggang sa nakabuo na siya ng isang grupo niya or isang tinatawag natin na network niya mismo. Alright? Um, can we go to the uh, uh, Panglima Jasa Negara Award with Dr. Lim? Okay, I just like to stress out na this award na ibinigay kay Dr. Lim is hindi ordinaryo, no? Um, Yan, uh, Sir Jo, yung, um, ah, isa pa. Yan, okay. This award given to Dr. Lim is not a regular award or basta-basta lang, no? It is a first class national service award. Panglima Jasa Negara, or in other words, Panglima is five, no? So it stands as the fifth among the 10 degrees of the Royal Malaysian Award. No, so ito po ay step by step na award na nakukuha ng isang tao. Pero hindi lahat pwedeng makakuha, no? Dr. Lim was given this award because of his contribution to the country sa Malaysia na siya po ay na, nakilala ang DXN all over the world. At the same time, marami siya natulungan sa trabaho, sa hanap buhay, dahil dito sa DXN. Okay, so, in-stress out ko lang yan kasi I would want uh, you to fully understand, lalong-lalo na yung mga bago uh, na, or first-timers na nakikinig po dito sa atin ngayon, kung ano yung kumpanya, kung sino ang nagsimula ng kumpanya, at kung bakit nasimulan yung kumpanya. And at the same time, to be uh, an assurance to all of you that you are in the right company. Okay, so thank you very much, uh, Joe. We could start at the uh, final presentation already. Okay, so International Coffee Month. No? This occasion is actually made as International Coffee Day. No? Iginawa nila to to promote and celebrate coffee as a beverage with events being transpired in places across the world. The first official date was October 1, 2015, as orchestrated by the International Coffee Organization, which, which was launched in Milan, Italy. No? It also marks the global celebration of coffee's journey from farm to local shop, an opportunity to honor men and women who grow and harvest coffee. Napaka lapet sa ating puso ng kape kasi kadamihan sa atin ay umiinom ng kape. Okay, next slide please. Okay, coffee plant was discovered in Utopia in the 19th century. No, uh, this plant smelled of jasmine and had white blossoms with red fruit. It wasn't long before people began to take the leaves off of this plant and boil them to make a flavorsome beverage. No, ang sabi sa mga legend, no, isang goat herder o yung nagaalaga ng mga kambeng ang first na nakadiscover ng potential ng coffee beans. Ang pangalan nitong um, goat herder na ito ay si Caldi. Okay? Ang sabi dun sa story, Caldi discovered that after eating the berries from the tree, his goats became so energetic that they did not want to sleep at night. He reported his findings to the abbot or the head of the monks of the local monastery who made a drink with the berries and found that it kept him alert through the long hours of evening prayer. So the abbot shared his discovery with the other monks, and that spread knowledge about the energizing berry. So in other words, naging chismis, no? Na yung bunga nung puno na yon, pag ininom, ay pag pinakuluan at ininom, mal, it will energize you and will keep you awake, no? All night. Kaya Aboriginal people began to believe this beverage has medicinal properties and the popularity of coffee began to spread all throughout the Arabian Peninsula. So from Utopia, from the east, nag-spread na siya hanggang sa Arab Peninsula. Okay, next slide please. Okay, during the 14th century, the people of Yemen began to, began to grow and produce their own coffee. From there, 
it spread to Istanbul and they developed their own method of preparing the coffee. Instead of just boiling the leaves or the raw fruit, they roasted the beans and mixed them with charcoal, which gave their coffee a unique taste and aroma that allowed it to spread even further. So kung nakikita nyo yun, di ba kapag malapit na magpasko, yung kastanyas na niluluto, na may kasamang mga itim-itim na uleng, no? So ganun nila niluroast yung beans during that time. And because of the heat coming from the charcoal, nagkakaroon ng ibang lasa yung coffee beans, no? By the 16th century, coffee finally made it to Europe via trade routes. Next slide, please. Okay. Coffee houses soon sprung up all over the continent and eventually reached America by the 17th century and became the second most important commodity in world trade. Second, ang, ang, uh, second most important commodity, ang first po is oil. No? At present, thousands of coffee shops were opened and different kinds of coffee beverages came out. No? Just like today, kahit sa Kaputumingen, merong coffee shop, merong malalaking coffee shop, merong maliliit na coffee shop, merong house home base lang. But the point is, sa dami po nang umiinom ng kape, kape is readily available everywhere. Okay? So next slide, please. Coffee is the second most traded commodity in the world. Yeah, oil is the first. Uh, the first food to be dehydrated was coffee. Okay, the second coffee is also considered as the second most consumed, next to water. So number one, water. Number two is coffee. Ang coffee then is the second most saleable commodity. No, ang kasunod po uh, na uuna lang ay yung mga Sauces, mga soy sauce, vinegar, na mas basic sa bahay. Pangalawa ang kape. So you can see how um, important coffee is no? sa buhay ng tao or sa isang household. No? Uh, this is the first food also to be dehydrated. No? Yung, uh, na tinanggalan ng water. Okay. And 40% of the world's coffee is produced by Brazil. The chemist uh, George Constant Washington invented Instant coffee. Okay, ano ba yung instant coffee? Now, instant coffee is a soluble coffee in form of coffee crystals or coffee powder. Okay. Siguro nag-isip ko yung George Washington, ito ba yung presidente, naging presidente ng US, no? Hindi po, ibang uh, George Washington ito. This is a Belgian man living in Guatemala in 1906. Yun yung lumalabas na story na siya yung nauna. But, on the contrary, isang taong nagnangalan John Dring of England in 19, uh, received a British patent for coffee compound in 1771, making it the first recorded occurrence of an instant coffee powder. So ano bang uh, advantage ng isang instant coffee? Ang uh, advantage ng instant coffee ay madali siyang i-prepare. Instant, no? Kasi nga, instant siya. So, it has the same um, flavor. Uh, yun nga lang, mas madali siyang itimpla. Alright? Now, there's two kinds, no? Dark roast coffees has less caffeine than light roast coffee. Okay. Ano ba yung dark roast versus light roast? Okay. This, there are two most economically important varieties of coffee plant. Yung naririnig natin na Arabica and Robusta. No? 60% of coffee produced worldwide is Arabica. 40% is Robusta. Si Arabica po contains point, um, zero, uh, 0 0.8 to 1.4% caffeine, while Robusta contains 1.7 to 4% caffeine. So mas mataas ang caffeine ni Robusta compared kay Arabica. So what is the difference between uh, dark coffee beans and light coffee beans? No? Dark coffee beans has less flavor of the coffee beans because it takes more on the flavor from the roasting process. Diba yung uh, habang tinutusta siya, doon nang gagaling yung lasa niya. Hindi na mismo nang gagaling doon sa beans itself. No? But the light coffee beans is more acidic compared sa dark coffee bean. 
Okay? Si dark coffee bean develops oil on the bean surface, kaya siya ay shiny. Si light coffee bean naman is dry. So, mas tuyo, mas matte yung color niya. Uh, the, the darker beans has less caffeine. No? Kaya na sinabi natin kanina. In the Philippines, 93% of Filipino homes, especially in Metro Manila, buy coffee packs once a week. No? Kaya sabi dito sa data natin, no? in the U.S., 8 out of 10 people consume caffeine daily. So talagang coffee is already part of our everyday lives. Uh, madami sa atin hindi na kayang mabuhay ng walang kape. Sabi nga ni Roy, coffee is life. No? Uh, ang maganda lang dito sa um, kape, meron din siyang health benefit. Okay, we'll talk about that later. Sige, next slide please. Okay. What's the difference between regular and decaf? Okay. Decaf coffee has been shown to cause significance less acid reflux than regular cafe. Okay. Or regular coffee. Okay. Ano nga ba yung decaf? Ano ibig sabihin ng decaf? Let's um, define first. Decaf is just like regular coffee except the caffeine has been removed. No? Removed as in 95 to 97% ng caffeine from the beans has been removed pag sinabing decaf. Um, yeah, decaf coffee is washed in solvents to remove 97% content of their caffeine from coffee beans. No? So, in other words, pareho lang sila, kaya lang si decaf, uh, dahil nababad na siya dun sa solvent, nabawasan na yung caffeine niya dun sa coffee beans. Kaya two or more cups of decaf per day has also been lined up with 48% lower risk of developing rectal cancer. One study found that 6 ounces or 180 ml coffee of decaf contain 0 to 7 milligrams of caffeine. So, kakaunti lang, right? Decaf coffee is not caffeine-free. It's much lesser than the amount regular in uh, found in regular coffee. So, in other words, pareho silang may caffeine, but decaf is lesser dahil nga tinanggal na siya dahil binabad muna siya sa Solve it. Okay, next slide, please. Yan. World's coffee consumption. How much coffee ang nagagamit ng mga tao no, sa buong mundo? Okay, over 2.25 billion cups of coffee are consumed in the world every day. No? So do you wonder how many cups doon ang DXN coffee? Gano kaya kadami yung contribution ng DXN na kape? Diyan sa 2.5 billion na yan, no? Over 90% of coffee production takes place in developing countries, mostly South America, while consumption happens mainly in the industrialized economies. So, ang pagpapatubo sa mga developing countries, pero ang paggamit is more on the econo industrialized economies. Next slide, please. All right. According to statistics from International Coffee Organization in 2018, Finland is the top coffee drinker in the world with an impressive of 12 kilograms per capita per year followed by Norway, Iceland, and Denmark. Na sila yung malalamig na bansa, no? Yung Finland, Norway, Iceland, and Denmark. Brazil is a world leader in coffee production followed by Vietnam, Indonesia, Colombia, and Ethiopia. Philippines placed 49th Coffee consumer with 1.2 kilograms per capita per year. So, nasa pang 49 pa lang tayo. So, we have a long way to go to be placed on a higher rank as being top coffee consumer. So, marami pa tayo iinumin kape para makaabot tayo doon. Okay, next slide please. Okay, these are suggestions on how to celebrate the International Coffee Day. Attend and engage to a coffee cupping or a coffee party, though we are very limited during this time of pandemic. But I'm sure uh, kung ilan lang naman kayo, basta less than 10, pwede. Pwede magkape-kape at mapag-usapan ang buhay-buhay at eventually mapag-usapan ang DXN. Buy a book or browse information on the net about coffee. 
try a method that you have never done before. So, pwede mo siguro ihalo ng something na kakaiba para maging kakaiba yung kape mo. Mag-experiment. Lagyan ng flavored syrup, maybe. Uh, or kung ano man, no? Most importantly, enjoy a cup of any of your favorite DXN Lingshi coffee variants with your family, close friends, or relatives, or work colleagues. Grab a cup of coffee, Lingshi, and enjoy the day. Okay, di pa po tayo tapos. Let's all watch this video that the marketing team has prepared for all of us. Worldwide, we drink more than 400 billion cups of coffee a year. Finland tops the charts with on average five cups a day. Germany and Japan come in a close second and third. So the question needs to be asked, is coffee harmful? It can be an important part of a healthy lifestyle. Recent studies have shown that coffee consumption in moderation can potentially have a number of health benefits because coffee contains antioxidants. An antioxidant is simply a naturally occurring chemical that fights the damaging effects of oxygen in the body. And the compounds in uh, coffee are called polyphenols. These are found in many fruits and fruit juices, and they're also found in coffee because, of course, coffee comes from the coffee bean, uh, which is then roasted and releases many of these compounds. But the ingredient most coffee drinkers are interested in is the addictive stimulant, caffeine. This typical cup of coffee would have about the amount of caffeine that would fill up about one quarter of this teaspoon. That's about 150 milligrams. Caffeine changes the brain's chemistry. It blocks the action of the chemical adenosine that's associated with sleep, which is why after a coffee, a person feels more awake. Caffeine activates the brain's pleasure center, which contributes to caffeine addiction. And it also triggers the sympathetic nervous system, setting off the fight or flight response. This stimulation injects adrenaline into your system, making you more alert and responsive. Uh, there's just a correction, no? Yung sa um, history ko, kailan nagsimula ang coffee. I think there's a typographical error. Instead of 19th century, that's supposed to be 9th century. Okay, pasensya na po. Typo error lang siya. Okay. Filipinos has been known as coffee lovers in this aspect that we will extend the International Coffee Month to a business opportunity with the wide varieties of healthy DX and Lingshi coffee, which mainly contains Ganoderma. We can maximize the potential of achieving healthy, wealthy, and happy lifestyle. Sa Pilipino, sa bahay ng isang Pilipino, hindi pwedeng mawawalan ng kape. Usually, when you go in a Filipino house, ang unang iaalok sa iyo ay, coffee, gusto mo magkape? No? So, we have to turn this opportunity na nakakapag-alok tayo ng kape sa mas maraming tao by using the healthy coffee or the alternative, itong ating DXN coffee, na equivalent ng bawat isang sachet ay uh, points. No? We earn points and we get to get bonuses afterwards. No? So that's an, an added bonus. We enjoy healthy coffee. At the same time, we could also enjoy a healthy, uh, a wealthy lifestyle. At the same time, happy din tayo. Okay? Next slide, please. Okay. Ganoderma lucidum, king of herbs. Enjoy your day with all natural 100% herb content of Ganoderma in Linshi coffee. In the Philippines, it's commonly known as kabute, uhong, or kulad, kulapdot. Di ko ko anong uh, dialect yun. With more than 400 active elements, major... Uh, elements include polysaccharides, organic germanium, adenosine, and triterpenoids. It's a kind of mushroom used by the Chinese, Japanese, Taiwanese, and Koreans for centuries to promote longevity, stamina, and health. For those who are first-timers here attending our product, uh, health and product in focus, Ganoderma po is the main ingredient in most of all our products. 
Ito pong mushroom na to, which is referred to as the king of herbs, uh, does a lot of things to our body. No, It detoxifies and rebuild and uh, maintains yung magandang pangangatawan natin. It strengthens the immune system. At the same time, ito po ay magandang um, pangtanggal ng mga hindi natin kailangan sa ating katawan. Um, yung technology na naisip ni Dr. Lim na adding the Ganoderma into the coffee made it very, very special kasi not everyone would want to drink agad a food supplement, but everyone will be willing to taste coffee. At yung coffee natin dito sa DXN, lahat yon merong Ganoderma. So with a konting Ganoderma na nilalagay natin sa kape natin, you still enjoy the benefit na nakukuha mo from the Ganoderma itself. Next slide, please. Okay. Coffee in itself, meron na siyang sarili niyang health benefits. No? It's anti-stress. It's a high penetrating power. And it's diuretic. Ano ba yung diuretic? Okay. A diuretic gets rid your body with salt and water. It helps the kidney to release more sodium into the urine. So one thing that you would notice kapag umiinom kayo ng kape, is mabilis kayong mag-pass um, ng wiwi. No? Mas mabilis kayong mag-urinate. No? So that's one effect of the coffee. And coffee is also fast consumable. Okay? So mabilis maubos. No? Like for example, ako, I take about 3 to 4 cups of coffee in a day. Minimum ko po yun. No? So pagising sa umaga, Pagkatas maglinis sa umaga, sa hapon, tapos bago mag-dinner, and then after mag-dinner, yan yung uh, regular schedules ko, taking coffee. no? Okay, yung coffee natin dito sa DXN, hindi lang po coffee ang laman niya. It also contains Ganoderma. So ano yung advantage ng Ganoderma? Ganoderma adds nutrition because of all the vitamins and minerals that we get, yung mga active ingredients na nakukuha natin from the Ganoderma. It also functions for detoxification. So detoxification meaning tinatanggal niya yung mga toxins in your body, no? yung mga unwanted, mga hindi kailangan sa ating katawan. Um, it's also an antioxidant, okay? And, and it's also a very strong adaptogen. What is an adaptogen? Adaptogen is anything that's natural, no? non-toxic plant, sabi niya even for a long use, will not give adverse effect or side effect into your body. So, ganyan po ang uh, Ganoderma. It's a very powerful adaptogen. And our coffee, our Ganoderma is also rich in enzymes. So, what's an enzyme? Enzyme creates a chemical reaction in the body. It actually speeds up the rate of a chemical reaction to help support life. Enzymes helps your body to perform very important tasks such as building muscles, removing toxins, and breaking down food particles during digestion. During uh, trainings in um, ganotherapy, we always say that enzyme is very important in your diet para makatulong sa digestion. So ganoderma in the coffee, makukuha mo na rin po yung enzyme na kailangan mo. Ganoderma, which is the most alkaline food mixed with coffee, becomes very powerful. Thus, it is known as the healthy coffee. The Ganoderma in the coffee reduces the caffeine effect. No, yung epekto po ng caffeine sa katawan to almost none. Halos wala. No? That's why yung mga negative effect ng caffeine sa body such as acidity in the stomach, palpitations, yung mga nahihirapang matulog, no? Uh, hindi yun nararamdaman sa DXN coffee. Bagkos kabaliktaran, ang mararamdaman mo when you take DXN coffee, you feel relaxed, um, mas madali ka makatulog sa gabi. In the morning, you feel energized. It gives you what your body needs, no? Magtataka ka nga eh, na parang ang galing-galing nung kape kasi ibibigay niya sa'yo kung ano yung kailangan mo, no? Uh, kung kailangan mong pagising, Magigising ka. Kung kailangan mo mag-rest, itbibigay din niya yung rest na kailangan ng katawan mo. And madami po dito sa atin mga testimonials na even just of, because of the coffee, because of the detoxification effect of the Ganoderma, marami pong gumanda ang pakiramdam even by just using our coffee. So aren't you glad you're drinking the XN coffee? No? Healthy yung coffee natin. 
na tayo ay nagpapasalamat ng marami sa ating datok Dr. Lim Xiaojin for this great concoction. Okay? Next slide, please. Okay, these are the different coffee products or the variances na meron sa ating kape. No, we have the Lingxi Coffee 3-in-1. Ito yung ating original. Lingxi Black Coffee. We have the Lingxi Coffee Classic. The Lingxi Coffee Plus. Lingxi White Coffee Zino. Lingxi Z Mocha. Ang ating Lingxi Z Cafe Classic. At ang ating Cordyceps Coffee. Alright, so let's go to the first product. Ako po, ito yung aking mga produkto. Nakikita niyo po ba? Okay, let's go to the Lingxi Coffee 3-in-1. Nawala. Ayan, okay. DXN Lingxi Coffee, ito yung original. Okay, dito nabuhay ang dugo ng mga taga DXN Philippines. DXN Lingxi Coffee is specially blended with the finest quality coffee beans, sugar, non-dairy creamer, and 100% Ganoderma extra. It has no artificial coloring, no flavoring or preservative. Thus, the aroma and the taste of the finest coffee beans is preserved. It comes in convenient packaging sizes. Meron tayong 21 grams, meron tayong 12 grams, at meron din tayong 10.5 grams. No? Nung na, na uso po yung, or when we started um, DXN here in the Philippines, uh, it became so popular dito sa Pilipinas, yung healthy coffee. No? It was a tremendous hit. Ika nga sa, kung pili ko lang pag-uusapan natin, isa siyang blockbuster. No? And as expected, madami po ang gumaya. Merong gusto na mas madaming plus. Kaya kasi sa atin, 3-in-1, di ba? So merong lumabas na 7-in-1, 8-in-1, marami-rami kung ano-ano mga plus-plus. No? Then there also became the issue of patriotism. Kasi ito mga 7 plus 1, 8 plus 1, mga locally produced to, mga locally owned, no? Filipino owned. So may nagsasabi na, bakit, ipo, uh, bakit ipapatronize mo yung imported kesa sa locally produced? Okay? Meron din mga big companies in the retail industry na sinubukang makisabay. No? They tried to produce their own healthy coffee na mabibili sa grocery at mas murang halaga. But they did not surpass the quality and the taste of our Lingxi coffee. Look at us where we are right now, 21 years after, with all the other varieties ng coffee na meron tayo, mas paulit-ulit tayong nai-in love sa ating kape. No? So, hindi natapos si Dr. Lim sa 3-in-1 coffee. 3-in-1 contains sugar and non-dairy creamer. He also produced black coffee. Yan, sa so ating black coffee. Yan. Black coffee is sugar-free, thus it is suitable for those who want to limit their sugar intake. With Ganoderma as one of its major ingredients, this variant is a great choice to perk up your day. So marami ngayon na yung mga nagda-diet who takes the dieting seriously uses the black coffee kasi wala nga tong sugar, wala cream. And uh, most men... Yeah, kagaya nila Ryan De Jesus, si uh, Manny Grimpola, si Rima nakikita ko, si Ponzi Alfonso, ano, si Ponzi Antara is also starting to drink the black coffee. And according to them, sa kanila, napansin nila, they started losing weight. Na? So, for those who would want to try uh, yung strong flavor ng purong-purong kape with Ganoderma, yung black coffee po ang para sa inyo. Next product, we have the um, Lingxi Coffee Classic 3-in-1. Okay, ito yung favorite ko. Enjoy the new variant and coffee sens sensation with the XN Lingxi Coffee 3-in-1 Classic. The coffee with smooth and creamy taste. Just add one sachet of the Lingxi Coffee 3-in-1 Classic into 150 ml of hot water and stir to enjoy a new coffee experience. So kung gusto nyo yun po ng mas creamy, Ako kasi mas gusto ko mas creamy yung kape. So, ito po ang, ang bagay para sa inyo sa so, DXN Lingxi Coffee 3-in-1 Classic. I usually take the this classic at night. No? Mas gusto ko siya bago matulog. Uh, mas relaxing siya para sa akin. Okay? Our next product. We have the Lingxi Coffee Plus. No? Experience the authentic coffee. Coffee shop in your own home. With DXN Lingxi Coffee Plus, 
an all-time favorite coffee that contains Ganoderma extract, while the ingredients are easily dissolved and produces a fine aromatic beverage that will freshen up your day. Ito naman dun sa ayo ng cream. So it's black coffee with sugar and Ganoderma. So yan naman yung timpla ng Lingshi Coffee Plus. Kasi meron naman din ng iba. Gusto nila their coffee is black but they want it with sugar. So ito na po yung inyong kailangan. Lingshi Coffee Plus. Next. Lingshi White Coffee Zeno. Ayan. DXN Lingshi White Coffee Zeno is made to satisfy the cravings of cappuccino lovers. So yung gusto ng mga frothy o yung mababbles na... Cafe, no? It is easy to prepare creamy coffee taste topped with a light layer of creamer foam and formulated with Ganoderma extract. You can easily prepare at home or at the office without the hassles of waiting long queue at the coffee shop. Discover the delicious taste that will remind you the original cappuccino taste for Italy. So kapag ang mood nyo naman eh more of yung pasosyal-sosyal, no? I mean yung pasip-sip ng pakonti-konti. So, Lingshi White Coffee Zino, kasi maraming bula yan. No? So, masarap uh, iniinom-inom ng paunti-unti. Uh, but uh, the advantage of our White Coffee Zino, meron pa rin siyang Ganoderma. Next, Zimoka. For those who would want uh, coffee lover, uh, coffee lovers sila at the same time, gusto nila yung lasa ng kape. Ah, ng chocolate? Sorry, <laughs> mix up na. So, coffee and chocolate. This is the DXN Z Mocha. It's blended with instant coffee powder made from selected coffee beans, Ganoderma extract, and cocoa powder. You can create blended iced coffee with Z Mocha to enjoy creamy, sweet, and unique taste. For extra flavor, add whipped cream and delicious cinnamon. Mas mura kasi yung sa mabibili mo sa coffee shop. Sigurado ka pang healthy kasi meron siyang Ganoderma. So that's Z Mocha. Next, okay, we have the Lingshi Z Cafe Classic. This and Lingshi Z Cafe Classic is a coffee beverage uniquely blended with the finest roasted coffee beans. No? So kung gusto niyo yung mas bold ang lasa na parang galing sa brewed coffee ang inyong kape, ito yung para sa inyo. Okay, it gives you a mild, smooth taste with fresh roasted uh, aroma packed individually in small sachets. Ayan, yeah. here. Yeah. For instant satisfaction and daily use convenience. Isang sachet usually could um pwedeng gamitin sa hanggang 5 to 6 cups if you want it strong. Kapag medyo okay lang na hindi masyadong matapang, sabi ng iba hanggang 10 timpla daw. So, it's up to you. Okay? So, ayan, ito yung ating Z Lingshi Z Cafe classic. Usually, when we had trainings sa head office before, yung free coffee po natin na masarap, na medyo uh, mayroon siyang konting sweetness, ito po yun, ating Z Cafe Classic. Next. Okay, ang favorite ng lahat, Cordyceps Coffee 3 in 1. DXN, Cordyceps Coffee is formulated with instant coffee powder with Cordyceps extra. We all know that cordyceps is good for energy to, to strengthen yung, uh, pahabain yung ating enerhiya. It's also good for the respiratory system, no? Para mas maganda yung ating paghinga. So, cordyceps coffee is for those who would want to a quick perk up. Yung lalo na maganda ang cordyceps coffee sa umaga. No? Para talagang gising kayo at maganda ang energy ninyo. This unique formulation um, makes a smooth and aromatic coffee to zest up your day. Okay. Next. Most of us won't last a day. Na para kanta, I won't last a day without you. Most of us won't last a day without at least one cup of coffee. With the health benefits of coffee, you can consider the business opportunity that would give you financial freedom and continue to earn money and share to others showing how much you care for them. For more than 25 years globally, DXN Business enables to provide better opportunities to more than 8 million people around the world from selling and promoting healthy Lingshi coffee products. There are many benefits in drinking coffee. No? There are its health benefits. There's also its social benefits. 
it can be used for bonding, for relaxation, to distress, or even just to start a conversation. No? Minsan, pwede siya maging simula ng pakikipag-usap. Dito sa DXN, the coffee or the product itself also gives us financial benefits. Every time na iinom kayo ng kape, may points. At yung points na yon ibig sabihin, dagdag kita. Marami pong buhay ang nabago dahil sa pag-iinom ng kape. Mas magandang kalusugan, mas magandang katayuan sa buhay. Dahil sa Lingshi Coffee, kumita ng malaki, nakatravel ng libre, napag-aral ang mga anak, naging komportable ang buhay. Others are already living their dream. Yung pamumuhay nila ngayon ay yung buhay na kanilang pinangarap. So kayo, ano pang hinihintay nyo? Tara na at magkape tayo. Magkapera, ah, magkape at magkapera. One world, one coffee, only here in DXN. Yan. So with that, maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. Sir Alan, asunin ka. Ayan, ito na yung aking free delivery ng kape. Wow, this is my Lingshi Classic. Cheers! Hey, yun. Thank you very much. Ayan, Sir Alan. Thank you very much. Wow, ubus na yung sa akin eh. Pero... Kakatinda lang yung akin o umuusok pa. Kung masasalinan mo ako ngayon, mama, pwede naman. <laughs> Ay, wag naman, baka sa ulo ko bupukos. Masakit yan. <laughs> <laughs> yan lang, yan lang. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much po, uh, Miss Len, doon sa napakagandang presentation about doon sa ating uh, coffee. No? So, tama-tama nga yung sabi ni Dr. Lim before no, naging simula yung DXN dito sa Pilipinas. Drink coffee and become a millionaire. No? So, yun yung sinabi ni Dr. Lim no, nagsisimula yung DXN. So, sabi ko nga kanina, almost 4 million a uh, 4 billion people drinks coffee. So imagine that yung ating potential market all over the world and yun, sino ba yung mga may network diyan sa Finland? No, sila pala yung pinakamalakas uminom oh, ng kape. Oh. Oh, so alam niyo na, ha? alam niyo na. <laughs> yung mga uh, nanonood din, no? alam niyo na kung saan kayo pupunta para mag-network. Sa Finland, Denmark. Ayun, so sabi kanina, Germany kasama raw. Oh, yeah. So, tandaan niyo sa yung mga bansa. Sa malalamig na bansa. Mm -hmm. sa malalamig na bansa. Ayun, dito kasi sa Pilipinas, no? Mga malalamig na gabi lang ang meron. Ano? <laughs> Kanino gabi ang malamig? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pero, so, ang, ang mga members ng DXN, kahit mainit, kape pa rin. Yes. Of course. Sabi mo, yung iba nga eh, pagkakain na pagkakain tanghalian, kape. Bago magtanghalian, kape. Tumitiri kang araw, nagkakape. Ayan. So, wala tayo pinipiling oras. So, hindi natin kailangan antayin yung malamig na panahon bago tayo magkape. Tama. <laughs> so, yun. So, yes, ma'am. Pwede ko ba munang ano, i-announce yung aking winners? Doon sa aking uh, activity na ginawa nung um, last Wednesday uh, about sa inspiration? It's up to you, ma'am. Pero para mas talaga mag-stay pa sila, eh, mamaya na lang. Mamaya? Okay. Meron ka pa ba? Oh. Basta sabihin? Um, okay. So, ako ako, ako yung magbibigay lang ng update. Tatlo na yung nakita ko na nandito. Oh. So, isa na lang yung hinihintay ko. Ayan, calling doon sa nag-iisa na yun. Nasaan ka na? Where na you? Dito na us. Ano ba naman niyan? No? So ayan, sa mga nanonood kayo, baka isa sa inyo. Yung winner doon sa, uh, tawag dito, sa pakulo ni Miss Len Dumlao. Eh, huwag na kayo umalis. Dala ko yung mag-update ah, lang naman sa glit. No? Pagbigyan nyo na ako. Tsaka <laughs> okay. remind natin yung mga sasali doon sa promo mo. They only have a few yes. more minutes to send their pictures. Yes, oh, may nakita na ako ngano eh. May nakita na ako nag-appear doon sa uh, Ducks and Mindanao no? may nag-post na. So, sa mga hindi pa nakapag-post, post na. Tandaan niyo po sana, yung ating hashtag. Sana maganda ako doon sa picture na kinuna nila. Sana kasama ako doon sa picture. Huwag <laughs> hey, kang mag-alala. Huwag kang mag-alala, Miss Len. Doma Cruz na Dona Cruz. No? <laughs> Ayan. 
Okay, go muna. So, technical. Eh, ano ba yung mga balita natin dyan? Yung mga bagong balita natin. Kaganapan natin this month of October. Yung mga natitira nating activities. Ayan. 